to be the man. You got to beat the man. This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes. Where is he? Cactus Jack. Your arms are just too short to box with God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Heels Podcast. My name is Jacob Best of the Realm Hotter. I'm Brian Bryman Peacock, also a uh, murder horse for today. <laughs> Check Go to Twitter. Twitter, you'll get it. Oh, it's a real slow... You know, they can't see you. Well, I don't want to lie to the listeners. Okay, fair enough. It's a real slow news day. Week. Yep. I guess. Maybe it's because we're recording like five hours early. I don't... Is something going to happen? No. No. <laughs> Definitely not. I don't know. After last one. Well, after Omega Jericho. I mean... Yeah, good point. Nothing else. Could I have know. a new WWE champion? That's about it. We'll get to that. Yeah. But that's still not as big. But we are going to talk about uh, Pete Dunne debuting... James Ellsworth getting beat up by women, Paige's possible return, uh, AJ Styles being new champion, Ricochet's farewell tour, and a bunch of other stuff. You know how it goes at this point. You've been listening forever. It's like episode 35, I think. 34? It's in the 30s. 30 something. 30 something. It's getting old. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting old. Yep. Are you, you're 30, right? Yep. Yeah. I'm 30. <laughs> Oh boy, you are old. I'm about to get a new co-host soon. I'm gonna, <laughs> you're gonna die off. <laughs> die off. Damn. My body's not gonna be able to handle the podcast. No. I can, I can tell it's already straining you too much. <laughs> you look like you're really stressing right now. I am. I'm. That's why I'm getting one of those massage chairs. Oh my around. god. <laughs> yeah, Brian Man plans on getting a five thousand dollar massage chair. Hell yeah, this podcast is. Pay- <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> Do you haven't been getting your checks? No. Uh, oh, that reminds me. Uh, I was watching Be in the Elite earlier, and they were all sitting in the airport. Uh, um, Jericho challenged Omega. Right. And uh, this, it was also the same night. Um, and also that night, Squirrel won the Junior Heavyweight Championship. And they pan over, and Will Ospreay is there. I guess he lost the night before. And they're like, oh, so how are you doing? And he was just not having it. Oh, and geez. then Marty Skrull looks over. He's like, oh, at least you got your Hot Topic check, right? Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're evil. So I didn't have this on the docket to talk about. Did you see there's a new Bullet Club member? No. Mr. Juicy. Mr. Juicy. <laughs> Did dead serious. He's an Australian wrestler. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure who he is, but we'll see. Yeah. Congrats to that. I'm sure you're listening, Mr. Juicy. Because everyone listens to this podcast. Damn straight, they should. That's just like I hope Simon Grimm is listening. Yeah. Because we watched that promo of his, which was cool. Half of it was cool. Real creepy. Now I'm just confused. Then it turned into a 90s exercise commercial. Yeah. It was, like, real creepy. It's a VHS thing, and it's, like, it makes him look like a serial killer clown type thing. I thought that was going to be Simon Grimm. In an MMA thing. Yeah, training. It's, like, yeah. and suplexes. It's, like, oh, I hope you can suplex, dude. Yeah, we don't... No we one have thinks, Suplex City. No one thinks you can't wrestle. Yeah. Like... But, see, he has an original gimmick. He's going to be a technical wrestler. What? <laughs> that is creative. I mean, it literally goes from like, I'm intrigued, all right, to, oh, literally my reaction. Yeah, like him clawing clown makeup off of his face, black and white, grainy found footage to. Just 90s exercise videos. Buy exactly my, what it buy was. my new VHS for $9.99. It was bizarre. Yeah, I was, I was confused. I, which one is he? Is he showing us that he took the clown makeup off? But he was never a clown. I mean, people probably made fun of him with the Vaughn yeah. villains. I mean, it was kind of a gimmicky gimmick, but I liked it. I don't think... I'm interested to see what he's going to do. I don't know. Now he... I'm a little disappointed. He wasn't a bad wrestler. No? Him and Aiden are both, like, they're good wrestlers. They were entertaining. They're definitely entertaining dudes. 
but I guess I don't think of Simon Gotch as a super technical wrestler. Right. That's why, honestly, him, me not really knowing what was exciting. Just like with Cody, it was like Cody Rhodes has always been a good wrestler. And he's always had neat gimmicks, but he was never amazing in WWE. And right. I was like, all right, so I wonder what he's going to do. And then he, he was amazing. And mm-hmm. now he's doing incredible things. He's going to wrestle Dalton Castle. Yes. That's going to be awesome. So, very excited about whatever Grimm's going to do. Former Simon Gotch. Yeah. It, hopefully he does good things. Yeah. And um, I just want to point out that Simon Gotch was spotted or so ago in Gainesville at a concert that I wish I was at. Oh, yeah. Which the was Nerdcore concert. Yeah. yeah. It was a Nerdcore hip hop concert. Who was it? Was that Mega Ran and Front of Lot and all them? Yeah, Mega Ran, Front of Lot, and Shave for the Dark Lord. Oh, God, what a good lineup. Yeah. So disappointed we didn't get to go to that. And then Simon Gotch was there hanging out. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. But I'm sure he lives in the Florida area. Oh, yeah, I'm so. sure. Just didn't realize he was into that nerdy stuff. Yeah. So you never know with wrestlers. As a matter of fact, there's a video on uh, Up Up Down Down right now of uh, Xavier Woods taking on Luke Harper. That was <laughs> awesome. And I guess Luke Harper is very well versed in Madden. <laughs> Because I was reading articles, like, you would think you wouldn't even know about electricity. <laughs> I mean, he's one of the Bludgeon Brothers. Yeah, oh, yeah, apparently that's not a thing anymore. <laughs> they need to bring it back. All right. <laughs> bring, it, bring it back <laughs> thing that never really started. Right. You're weird, WWE. Speaking of being weird, Pete Dunne is going to be a thing versus the Cruiserweight division. It's kind of hard to tell right now. Well, that would be hard because the UK division, they're not all 205. Right. Okay, so it's the UK division minus Trent (laughs) 7. Okay, yeah. (laughs) But also, like we were talking, I don't think Pete Dunne's 205. He just looks bigger to me. Yeah, he might be a little more than 205. I looked it up, and of course it says on Wiki, build weight 205. Right. And I was like, all right, fair enough, Wiki. (laughs) This is why you can't believe everything on Wikipedia. Or the yeah. internet. <laughs> oh, I want to know how much he weighed before they announced him on 205 Live. Right. I well, guess they could use the way back, way back Machine or whatever on the internet. Like, they have Alistair Black build at 205, too. I believe that. He's not a big dude. But I thought he was taller. He's pretty tall, yeah. But he's... He's, he's not big. He's not thick at all. He's got yeah. muscles. Yeah, I don't know. I would believe Alistair Black before Pete Dunne. Yeah. But, uh, and we are supposed to be getting Hideo Itami also called up 205 Live. Finally going to do something with him. And, uh, they may be signing Rockstar Spud from TNA. Which is pretty exciting. He's a. Him and, him and Enzo are going to have a really great chemistry. Yeah, so, we'll have to look up some stuff for him. He's very entertaining. I'm excited about that. I'm excited to see what WWE lets him do. He was one of the best parts of TNA for a long time. Okay. I'll take your word for it. There just wasn't much there. (laughs) So, it might be one of those things where it was like, oh, no, you're shit. It's just you were better than the rest of the shit. Yeah. (laughs) We'll see. Uh, So, 205 Live's finally getting some love. That's nice to see. Yeah. With Enzo and Dunn and... Uh, hopefully we uh, Enzo did a promo against the UK division. Mm-hmm. He was calling out the whole division. So uh, that'll be interesting to see how that all works out. But uh, Enzo's promos, by the way, pretty freaking funny. They're funny. He's he's pretty great at talking. I told it quickly so to uh, think twice. He two thoughts more than he had today. <laughs> <laughs> he kills me. And it's so great that like, he's in there talking shit. And even the commentators, you can hear them start talking. They're yeah, like, they're done. Oh, my God. Shut him up. Someone cut his... <laughs> I don't think I've ever really heard commentators do that. Uh, I know I have, but still, it's funny when they do. Yeah. Because when I was watching it, I was kind of like, is someone else talking? Where is that coming from? <laughs> and sure enough, it was freaking Corey Graves talking shit. Yep. <laughs> As usual. 
another weird segment from WWE this week is Ellsworth getting beat up by women. I guess this is a thing at house shows as well. Yeah, I've seen a lot of video from house show. I think they were house shows. Um, like the last one I saw, he was in like a sling, and there's just. Like I think the last title was Ellsworth can't escape the wrath of the women's division or something. What did he do? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of these things that I'm kind of happy I missed. Yeah. Me too. Like, I don't understand what's happening, and I guess I guess I don't really care, but it does kind of make me sad that this is what the women's division has ended up doing. Yep. This is the storyline we're going with? Yep. It's a waste of talent. Considering that, like, Tamina Snuka hasn't really had time to become, like, a star, we could be having Tamina versus Charlotte have some good matches between them and building them up. Or freaking Becky Lynch is such a massive star. Mm-hmm. Except they're just, they're trying to not push her down, but they're not letting her be the star as she should be. Instead, she's beating up James Ellsworth. Yeah. Which is, like, getting big pops, I guess. And I guess that's important, but... Also, I feel like, I don't know, like I feel like a, probably a lot of the crowd left for that. I, I don't know that for sure. Right, yeah. But if I was there, I'd be like, oh, this is going to be stupid. I'm leaving. I'm going to go get a yeah. drink. Yeah. Bathroom break time. Yep, it's the bathroom match. <laughs> yeah, but the women, women's division is back to being the bathroom break, and that's unfortunate. Yeah, at least on SmackDown. I don't know, I don't know about Raw. I think Raw, they're doing fine. Well, Got Alexa Bliss. Yeah. Yeah, unless that article I read was true, where her and Nia Jax were... I didn't see that. Something about a, a DUI, and they found Damn. weed in the car? I don't know. I don't know who which one was driving, or what the case was, but I don't even know if that's a true story, so... I haven't seen it, so I, I'm gonna have to assume no. Yeah, I hope I hope not. I see stuff like that. Yeah. Um... And other women-related news, Emma apparently had uh, some negotiations with a bigger independent wrestling company, and she was asking too much, so they're not going to put her on the show. Which is kind of, really? yeah, which is like, all right, well, you should maybe lower your rate a bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are, I saw she might be going to Japan. Really? And wrestling under her real name. Oh, okay. And, I would, yeah, I would imagine she's not going to be Emma any, anymore. And she's going to have more, uh, apparently, complete creative control for her character. Oh, sure. Yeah. So. So she's going to New Japan. No, not New Japan. Uh, another Japanese promotion. Uh, I can't think of the name of. I think. It's not one that I, I normally. Not Noah? I think it's called, like, Star or something like that. Oh, I don't know. There, there's a, I think there's a couple over there. Oh, I'm sure there's quite a few. <laughs> but, uh. Yeah, I think on the indies, other than WWE and maybe TNA, they pretty much have control over their stuff. Give or take, more or less. Yeah. Especially if she's going to be going to... Well, unless she's only at that promotion, then I guess that'd be different. Mm-hmm. But we'll see. That'll be interesting. I, I still hope she does well. But, you know, l- allow yourself to have some smaller rates at smaller shows and yeah. just, just work all the time. That's what everybody else seems to do. See yeah. Young Bucks at like smaller shows all the time. Yeah, I doubt Making they get money paid on your merch. Yeah, I doubt they get paid you know their full asking price that like they would at PWG or ROH. Yeah, or New Japan. Yeah, <laughs> but you know they're in front of the crowd. They're gonna get a couple of new fans. They're gonna sell a bunch of merch. Oh, speaking of the Young Bucks, I saw them uh, a video. It, it was in Being the Elite. They were at uh, one of the Comic Con, Stanley's Comic Con. Okay. In California, I think. And I'm pretty sure it was Christopher Daniels and Kazarian on stage with them. And they had like a like a short mini match on stage. Really? Yeah. Uh, they ended up putting um, Christopher Daniels through a table and doing the their double team move, the pile driver move, right. to uh, Kazarian. Huh. And he... Um, Matt or Nick? I I, I don't know. Uh, ju- he was on the table and jumped off like he does on the ropes. Damn! And just <laughs> gave him a pile driver right on stage. It was awesome. They're crazy. Yeah, 
The crowd was loving it, too. It was great. Yeah, I bet. And uh, I bet Kazarian and Daniels, they seem like they'd be down for anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially Daniel. Daniels doesn't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> He's like, oh, this is working. Yeah. Finally, I don't give a fuck and everything's working. <laughs> I like I like this goofy Daniels much more than the older, serious... Yeah. The uh, kind of dark, creepy character. Now he's... Curry Man without the mask. Not quite. Curry Man was awesome. <laughs> not, not quite that. But, uh... Now he's just a goofy dude. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Oh, speaking of doofy dudes... I, I gotta get new segues. <laughs> you know how much segues cost, by the way? A lot. That's why I use cheap ones. <laughs> Boom! Oh, man, I'm bad today. Make sure you tune in for the stream later. I don't know why I'm promoting the stream on the day I'm not going to release a podcast. <laughs> tune Never in. Mind. Tune in yesterday. That's right. Go to YouTube, The Best in the Realm, or twitch.tv slash best in the realm, and watch the VOD. Because I'm goofy today. Uh, anyways, goofy dudes. Uh, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn apparently are going into business for themselves. I think. They had a run-in in their match. You have an update pulled up, don't you? I hope I pulled that up, because I don't remember reading that. Vince McMahon <sighs> sent them home from the European tour. Yeah, they're going into business for themselves. Uh, it doesn't really say, but I think they did a run-in when they weren't supposed to. Ah. And, <laughs> like, and, like, you know, they were, like, being buddies out yeah. like, in front of the crowd. But, uh... <laughs> which doesn't... It's, like... If all the people to go into business for themselves, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, it's like, not fair enough. You should have expected that. Yeah. Because I'm sure they did that shit in ROH all the time. Oh, I'm sure. And, and good for them. Yeah. What are you going to do, fire them? They're I mean, not going to fire Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Eh, I don't think they're unfireable. I think they, they might. Not over this, though. Not over something. It's going to take a lot more. Yeah. Also, I, and I don't think these two would pull anything too major. Yeah. I th- <laughs> They're not, like, Cena level unfireable, but... No. No, definitely not, but... Like, this isn't going to get them in too much hot water, I don't think. They're supposed to be back on SmackDown this week. But they're going to boil some water. That's for sure. Oh, of course. That's what they do. <laughs> They're the best at boiling water. As long as they don't burn it. I also... I hope this is... A work. For lack of a better term. Because I don't want to sound like it. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I had a really funny conversation the other day. And you, only you will appreciate this and our listeners. I had a family member that was asking me, was talking to me about wrestling. Mm-hmm. And they were like, oh yeah, I remember back in the day, Hulk Hogan's accident. Oh, I was telling them about CM Punk. Mm-hmm. I had my CM Punk shirt on. I was telling them I was a big fan of CM Punk. A lot of my channel stuff is based on CM Punk. You know, they asked me about Hulk Hogan, you know, his fans were called Hulkamaniacs. And, like, does CM Punk have, like, a cute name for his fans? And I was like, Smart Marks. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, I'm sorry, that was a joke for myself. Yeah, that's funny, though. <laughs> that's pretty funny. That was just the first thing that came to mind. I was like, no, he, no, no, he does. Smart Marks. <laughs> yep. God damn it. Uh, I guess that's what we are. We're talking about behind the scenes shit. I try not to. Try not to too much. Yeah. We well, we're very open about like we we know things, but also we know as much as you do. We're just better at interpreting some things. I think that's how I feel. I'm pretty good at interpreting a lot of things. Yeah, and like, uh, there are some things I just I won't talk about. Yeah, and that's fair. You don't even talk to me about them. Yeah, there are, there are <laughs> things that you know. And I, I encountered one this this weekend, and that's actually how I I know for sure that the guy I met. Right. I don't that know that thing, and you won't tell me what that thing is. Yeah, but I don't know, like, cause he I met a guy. He said he was a wrestler. I believed him because he looked familiar. Um, then he told me he he's worked it was on Chavo t- Guerrero. <laughs> he worked on TV, and I was like, eh, I'm always a little, a little cautious when people tell me Calisto. that. Calisto. Yeah, it could have been no mask. I don't know. Was he short? Uh, yeah, he wasn't too tall. Rey Mysterio? Oh, I've seen Mysterio. Yeah, me too. He looks like Jessica Alba. Or he did. What? Yeah. 
Okay. I'll Look take it up. Your word thing. for it. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Little inside thing there. We had a moment, and I was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, he he knows what he's talking about." Huh. But that's and that's all I'll say about it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know things, but yeah, I think. It, I mean, it's just like with the whole Chris Jericho. I drink and I know things. I, I drink soda sometimes and, and water. I don't drink alcohol though. Okay. Game but of Thrones like, fans will get it. I okay. drink and I know things. Oh, I actually that's uh, the little dude. Yeah, a little guy. I've seen that. Callisto. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Oh God, you just gave me my thumbnail. Thank you. <laughs> Um, oh my god, they completely derailed me. <laughs> oh, it, it's just like the whole Bullet Club versus WWE thing, which I think I still think we both think that's going to play out someday. Oh, yeah. Or, you know, Chris Jericho and King Omega hating each other. <laughs> yeah. So many people took that as gospel. Oh, speaking of uh, WWE and Bullet Club, also on Being the Elite. We're just sponsoring being the elite. <laughs> we do most of the watching. time. Um, I, I we didn't watch the match, but they uh, the young bucks said they debuted their new tag team finishing move. They called it the cease and desist. <laughs> so Jeez. we're gonna have to go back and watch and see what it was. That's awesome. Talk about like taking lemons and making lemonade. <laughs> yeah. Except it's like WWE thought they were giving them poison lemons. Yeah. <laughs> Turned out they were super sweet. They're so sweet. They were too, too sweet. sweet. Those lemons were too sweet. Now we're gonna get a season. That was assist. good. That was good. I like the way you spun that into too sweet. One sweet. Yeah, not one sweet. Just one sweet. One sweet me. <laughs> oh, those guys, they, they will take anything and turn it into a freaking marketing machine. And then I want to be in the elite. They were standing around, and, uh, oh, crap, I want to make sure I get this right. <laughs> okay. What, what was it in context? Oh, is it going to go to YouTube? Yo, what the hell? Um. Okay, who is this? Uh. Hero Nota? Yeah, I said that totally wrong. Is that not him? Oh, no, that's a Japanese magician. Uh, they were anyway. They were standing around the uh, the main elite guys, you know, Omega and Young Bucks. Oh, Takahashi? Is that what you're? Okay. Yeah. Wait, no. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, they're standing around, and I forget which one starts, but they're like, "We got, we have a new, new catchphrase." I got excited. It's how oh, cool new catchphrase. You already sold me. I'm I'm, I'm in. Um, but they're like, F. T. R. R. Do you get it? And they're like, Oh, I get it. And Yujiro comes over. I hope I'm saying his name right. Yeah, I think so. Yujiro. But uh, uh, he comes over, and they're like, Yeah, we got we got the new. Uh, uh, catchphrase F T R R, and he goes, "Oh, I get it." And they're like, "Oh, do you like it?" And he just looks at him. He's like, "No, it's fucking stupid." <laughs> <laughs> I love him. He's one of my favorite non like being the elites in the Bullet Club. I think he's he's great. He's so funny. He yeah, he's been in like. He's the one that gets mad when he, they film, right? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> he tells them, like, fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get what is a catchphrase. Honestly, I don't know. Oh, I was thinking it was going to be some racist thing, like, fuck the reviver. <laughs> um, I didn't mm. laugh at that. <laughs> Me neither. But I didn't say it either. I was looking through the comments, and everyone's like, oh, fuck the Roman Reigns, or fuck the Royal Rumble. I'm like, well, guys, no, I don't. It's either nothing. I don't think it's anything. Okay. Because <laughs> the the title of the episode was "Get It." Okay, I did see that. So, I got God. I gotta catch up on that show. I'm like halfway through. I'm not as far behind as I thought, and I don't know if it was a new or if I just haven't seen the newest intro. But it was cool as fuck. Oh, okay. I was gonna say that that intro did wears on you a bit. 
If you binge watch it. Oh, I'm sure. I like, really wish the one with the truck, right? No. Like it looks kind of like Contra. Oh. And they're I on the truck. That. I think I know what you're talking. No, I think this one's just them, and there's like text going across the screen. They go be elite, the the elite. Well, yeah, that, the song's elite, always the same. It's over. Oh no! Well, I'll I'll show you the new intro video for okay. it. It's, it's cool. But yeah, I, I gotta catch up on that series. I'm like halfway through. Uh, that way, when I, I'm caught up, I can just watch the new ones come out. Yeah, I've got. I think I've gone back as far as I feel like. Like, I don't feel like I have to watch all 79 that, episodes. I feel like that's a show with a lot of inside jokes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which is why, like, even when I started watching the Kind of Funny podcast, I went back and watched all of them. Every single one of them. Yeah. If, and those are, like, two hours long, and I can't catch up on the fucking Being the Elites. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. And Being the Elites are short. That's one thing I, yeah. I do really enjoy about them. Yeah. That's why I like Sugar Pine 7. The videos are, like, five minutes long. I have to show you them later. They're pretty funny. One of my other favorite podcasts, uh, Star Wars Seven by Seven. It's only seven minute podcast, but it's seven days be close. <laughs> seven. All right, we've did our uh, True Free Heels seven minute podcast, and yeah, uh, there. catch us on Twitter and all that. Bye. Let's look at a few things to talk about. Calm down. All right. Uh, we do have to talk about, and this is something I, I'm going to say right now to the listeners. I don't like talking about this shit. Because I feel like wrestlers' personal lives should be separate. Oh, yeah. Um, just like, you know, with act. Well, I guess actors is a bad example of all the shit going on right now. But, uh, you know, like when I, I used to see articles about CM Punk, you'll never believe where he was. It's like, he's in a hockey game. Right. It's a yeah. picture of CM Punk at a hockey game. Yeah. It's like, one, creepy. Two, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> right. <laughs> because I know CM Punk likes hockey. Yeah. So the fact he's at a hockey game isn't surprising. It's just the clickbait. fact that you're taking pictures is fucking weird. Stop it. Did you see, ever see a picture of the back of CM Punk and AJ's head? Uh, no. Some fan took a picture and news fucking articles were written about it. It's weird. Stop doing it. No one cares. If well, you people, care. Uh, unfortunately, people do care. Okay, well, we'll get on to it, because this is something I do care about, because we've talked about it. Paige is single, and she's on her way back to the WWE. That's the important part. I've seen that she's been in the Performance Center for the last month or so. Yeah. It's been a while. She may she might be coming back Monday. Oh, okay. Um, I really we'll hope see. she is. I'm glad she's left Alberto Del Douchebag, because like, there's so many articles about him being a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. And like I'm a I'm a big fan of Paige. I have a cat named after her. <laughs> <laughs> she is one of my favorite women wrestlers, and I want nothing more right now than Paige versus Oscar, because that would be so fucking good. Not to mention Paige versus Becky Lynch, Paige versus Alexa Bliss, Paige versus Charlotte, Paige versus Sasha Banks. Like it's incredible. It's like we're having a, a legend. Come which maybe you know? I don't know. I can't <laughs> I I want to say no, but I can't say no because I didn't really see much of Paige. Okay. You're, she you're was, in for a treat. She's amazing. She was on while I was boycotting wrestling. Right. Cuz I had had enough and about of the time the you business. came back, she was pretty much gone. Yeah. With an I watched, injury and I watched the documentary on her. Her documentary was pretty cool. Oh yeah. Uh, wrestling with my family? Yeah. Very good. Actually, I know a guy who's wrestled for that company. Really? Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> the guy from Spring Hill area. What did I can say his name? Uh, I don't know if he's wrestling anymore. Oh? So I don't know I don't know if that even matters. I'm going to check his page. I'm going to see okay. what he's been up to. But Paige's coming back. I'm super excited. I'm super excited, super excited about all the possibilities. I'm super excited to see her as champion again and just being, you know, in wrestling again because it's been so weird that she has been a WWE employee and hasn't been wrestling because of her injury. But also that's one of those things, like, you know, we were talking about interpreting things. 
I don't think it was because of her injury. I really just think it was some kind of bullshit with Del Rio and them trying to get her to come back. But on the other hand, I want to believe WWE would not put up with shit like that. So I don't know. It's hard telling. But at this point, if she comes back and she's back full time, I don't care. Yeah. I don't, I don't hate her. I think the more you see of her, you're going to like her. And if she's smart, she's going to have reinvented herself and will have a different version of Paige. Which is pretty yeah. likely. Because this is going to be a big return. She's been gone for a long time. When that music hits, it's going to be a big deal. Actually, the only thing I know about her is... Del Douchebag, in the documentary. And just... I hear about all the leaked photos of her. Because I thought that was career ending for well, WWE. I think, like Alexa Bliss and some other people also got pictures released. Seth Rollins did. Know. Oh, that's right. I, I'm I thought he was done after that. I'm glad that's not career enders anymore. Yeah, it, yeah, it might just not be anymore. This is, It's going to happen more and more with the... I mean, look at that weird picture of you that just got put out on Twitter. You never know. It could be career ending. Could be. <laughs> I think, if anything, that's going to sort of skyrocket my career. Uh, People are going to want the mo- the murder horse. The murder horse. I'm going to be oh. doing events and promotions. <laughs> Catch me down at... Uh, Catch Nick me Nichols- outside? Ah. Nope. Nope. I'm- no. No. All right, that's been the show. I'm done. <laughs> Catch me inside the ring. You know, no, I'll be down at Nick Nicholas Ford. Uh, I feel my heart hurting every time I make a reference to that, so I'm going to stop. Give a, uh, they're giving away free hot dogs and test drives every time you drive the new 2018 Ford Taurus. That's the kind of stuff I'm going to be doing, because the murder horse. Oh, right. Every, everyone wants the murder horse. You confuse the shit out of me there for a minute. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. What's the next news story? I don't even know. AJ Styles is the new WWE champion. Good. See? Shouldn't assume gender. <laughs> All right. That joke's still funny. All right. One, I'm happy AJ Styles is a champion. Absolutely. AJ Styles is great, but AJ Styles failed for a long time. Why am I the most happy about this? I don't change hands on the SmackDown. Yeah. That shouldn't be... Anything could happen in WWE. At least it didn't happen on a house show. Like the last time he won a title. <laughs> yep. Which I was fine with that too. Honestly. Would you would you have preferred that we got gender versus Brock? Gender win and then next pay per view we get AJ versus gender and the title changes? Because that's what would have happened if we're talking about not doing title changes on TV. Yeah. Small camp, but I was looking forward to gender versus Brock. That was really a big question. Is that not going to happen now? No, it's AJ versus Brock, champion versus champion. Well, which is also very exciting. But AJ didn't ask to be beat by Brock. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you bring up a solid point. Yeah, it would be kind of great if next week. Uh, no, no, I didn't sign up for that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I'm good. No, I'm smart. Have you seen him? <laughs> I already won this. What do I get if I win that? <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. Fuck that. The other thing I win is a one-way ticket to Duplex City. No one wants that. Except Jinder Mahal, apparently. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it should still be Jinder versus Brock. In all actuality, because it was Jinder that challenged Brock Lesnar, not the WWE Championship. Right, Yeah. <laughs> Like, why are you being punished for winning a championship? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, you bring up a really good point. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. I guess it's just because every, every other champion is, like, going at it. AJ must hate Jinder Mahal right now. <laughs> why can't I open the damn mouth? <laughs> you asshole. Uh, but I am happy about AJ Styles being WWE champion. What did you just find? It doesn't have to do with this. Okay. Uh, I'm happy about him being champion. I'm happy about AJ Styles versus Brock Lesnar. That's never happened, right? Styles versus Lesnar? No. Must it happen in Japan? No. I don't think that would have happened, though. I don't think this has ever happened. 
This is going to be exciting. I swear to God, if Brock Lesnar wins in six seconds, I'm oh, going yeah, to quit. quit. That's ridiculous. That would be aggravating. Styles are too smart for that. Mm-hmm. He's going to go in there with a plan. Kind of like Owens did. Owens still got beat fairly quickly. Yeah. But I feel like AJ will put up a better fight. He's going to figure it out somehow. AJ needs to win that match. Do you imagine if AJ won? He needs to win that match. He's already over. Like, he doesn't... He's not, like, on a Brock Lesnar, John Cena level. But he is still super over. Yeah. That would just... He's I, got a couple fans. Yeah, right? A couple. But that... If he beats Brock, that might put him on a John Cena level. It would help, that's for sure. I don't think one match is going to be that. I don't think Brock benefits anything from winning this. Other than it. Right. But also, you know, AJ Styles wins. It makes him look more dominant at the same point. And if he loses, he also kind of stays at the yeah, same point. It doesn't matter for him either way. So it only makes sense for AJ to win. So, what you're saying is AJ's going to lose. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So, as long as we're on the same page. Oh, uh, yeah. That sucks. Speaking of sucking. <laughs> See? Segways are terrible. You know who does good segways? Just to get away from this subject. Greg Miller from Kind of Funny. I thought you were going to say Mall Cops. Nope. Greg Miller... When he does a segue, all he does is yell, Greg Way! And <laughs> segues into something else. I wish my name was Greg. I could just do Greg Ways. What? Jake Ways? Jake Ways? No. Jake Ways a lot. <laughs> I'm working on it. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> um, and, and a little maybe somber note? Ricochet is on his farewell tour for Dragon Gate. No, I think that was the farewell... That was the farewell tour, right. For Dragon Gate, yeah. So he's done with Dragon Gate. Yep. And uh, he says it's not goodbye, he'll see you later. We don't know where he's going. I swear to God, if he shows up at TNA, it would be real sad. If he shows up... I feel like he doesn't even need to go into NXT. I feel like he can go straight to WWE... He can go straight to 205 Live. I don't think they would do that, though. I don't think so, either. No. Because think of all the people who have have already gone through NXT. If Vince McMahon dies in the next couple of days, Ricochet will be on the... Because I'm 99% sure Triple H loves that guy. Oh, I'm so, sure. Yeah. Uh, oh, man. So he's he could be replacing Neville. Because we're still pretty sure Neville's gone completely. Oh, yeah. I haven't heard anything else about that. Man, we could have had a Neville versus insert WWE name, and that would have been great. <laughs> we don't know what they're going to call Ricochet. He would have been... He's on the Neville level. He really is. Honestly, I just wanted to say Neville level. Okay. But he is, yeah. Fair enough. Um, God, yeah, we needed to have another Neville versus... Or Pocket versus Ricochet match. Those, one of those haven't happened in a long time. Ricochet, he's become much better. And so is Neville. He's uh, he's become a king, if you will. He has. But uh, I think they would be smart to just leave him Ricochet, because that's a cool name. Why not? And then just dress him up as the character from Mucha Lucha. No. And get him a tag team partner like the Flea. No. No? No. And what a girl? No. I like Mucha Lucha, okay? Me too. <laughs> Why didn't they do that in Lucha Underground? They might. Season, they just got announced <laughs> season four. Prince Puma is now Ricochet, but not the one you're thinking of. <laughs> Talk about a show I need to catch up on. <clears throat> yeah, I feel so yeah. bad. I've only seen the first season. <laughs> Watch all their videos on Facebook and stuff. So I didn't even know they were up to season four. That they're on season three. I saw there's a picture of a billboard. It's a billboard they always show by the mm-hmm. arena. It has a four on it. And I was like, for, for what? Four days until a new season starts? Or, like, what? So season four has been announced. <laughs> oh, okay, fair enough. That's what that meant. It's very confusing to me. You know what else is confusing to me? What's up? That we're at the end of the show. 
Nah, nothing else to talk about. Do you have anything? Well, there has been no activity on Neville's Twitter since September 28th, it looks like. Yeah. And apparently he walked out after losing to Enzo. And the only article I can find about any updates has been... No updates? <laughs> yeah, October 18th, about when it happened, so... Yeah. That's so sad. Neville is M-I-A, apparently. He really is. Hopefully not a P-O-W. Yeah. Or K-I-A. Definitely not K-I-A. And now... Or, WTF. Yeah, WTF. OMG. All you gotta remember, though, is F-T-R-R. <laughs> Fair enough. Way to bring it back. <laughs> Thank you for the podcast. My name is Jacob Best... My name has been, and it still is, and I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Jacob Best in the Realm Hotter. Uh, my name is still Brian Brian Peacock, and probably will continue to be. Yeah, probably. So Actually, you, no. You used to be Fabrics. Used to be Fabrics. That's right. <laughs> um, <laughs> you would heal. I'm I'm thinking about changing my last name, but we'll talk about that later. Why the fuck would you drop that on me? It's a weird thing to <laughs> drop on me. <laughs> on All this right. podcast. Yeah. Way to way to reveal way too much personal information. <laughs> yeah. This has been the Future Eels Podcast. You can find it on iTunes. You can find it on YouTube at Future Villains. Just Google it. I don't think we have a URL link. Email me if you want one. For whatever reason, futurevillainsinfo at gmail.com. You can find it on our website, futurevillains.com. F-E-W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S.com. I'm going to be streaming later today and tomorrow. Today's Sunday. Tomorrow's Monday. Uh, today's the 12th, tomorrow's the 13th. So keep an eye out on twitch.tv slash best of the realm, twitch.tv slash beard gaming ENT, and twitch.tv slash future villains. All three of them will have some kind of freaking live stream. Uh, the videos will be edited, put up on my channel and beard gaming entertainment's channel. Uh, I'm very excited about that. We're going to be streaming a lot of Destiny 2. I think I've put 80 hours into Destiny 2. Since I bought it on the 24th, by the way. I haven't put 80 hours into my job <laughs> since then. God, the game's so good! You, I'm sure me and Bob will record a podcast later about that, though. We've already recorded two. But <laughs> we're going to make it a third. It's a trilogy. There's a new Star Wars trilogy been announced. I know. That shit's been announced way too fucking early. <laughs> but there's no information about it. No. It's except, so stupid. Except Brian Johnson. I don't know how I feel about Brian Johnson. A conversation for another podcast. That's true. Let's stop. <laughs>